Howdy folks, and welcome to the uh, slightly lengthier vlog that I do uh, every week. Uh, come on then. With my special guest star, who just can't wait to see what I'm doing, Mr. Dave. So this first bit is just to give you a quick uh, weekly summary. Um, pretty good week for me all in all on the DDP yoga front. I have uh, really got, uh, grown accustomed to having the two work out today. I actually really like it now. Uh, well, three if you count Red Hot Co, I suppose. Um, had one bur a bad workout this week, which was on Monday, which was uh, below the belt. Below the belt, really not my favourite workout, so I'm kind of okay with it not being a great one. I am tempted to do another one this week, um, but my schedule is a little bit complicated, so I'm probably not going to. We'll do better next week. Do better next Monday. Um, special shout out this week. Uh, thank you once again to Heidi um, from Team DDP. Um, I asked for some advice on improving my lunges a little bit, improving the form particularly. It's something that really steps up when you start doing the strength builder workout. And um, she gave me some really great advice, some, some really simple stuff. Um, I, I will pass on some of the wisdom now. First thing, guys, your hips aren't as far apart as you think they are. So if you're told to stand hip, uh, hip width apart, do keep an eye on where you're standing. Uh, secondly, if you are having trouble um, balancing when you're first doing your lunges, bring them in a little bit. That's perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it as far as my summary for uh, DDP Yoga is concerned. I'm going to uh, keep doing the same schedule I did this week next week. Uh, I have my parents visiting me from over in the UK next week. Uh, so I might have a couple of special videos based around that. Um, I'm now going to uh, pass over to myself, which is a really interesting uh, idea. I'm going to do a slightly extended part of this video. Um, I need a cameraman for that, which is why I'm not doing it um, straight now. Uh, a camera woman, I should say, sorry sirs. Um, and that's going to be about flexibility. I'm going to show off a few of the uh, the flexibility moves and a bit of the flexibility you get from Team DDP and I'm going to be uh, talking in slightly more detail about why that's important to me and why I think it should be important to you. It's something which might uh, be appreciated a little bit more by the people who start off um, slightly larger, like, like I did myself. I was, you know, over 300, close enough to 400 pounds when I started. And um, some of the flexibility stuff is, is really amazing once you get into doing it. Um, so, handing over to you, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Okay, folks, so you can see I have uh, changed into my standard workout outfit. Look, I have knees. Just to prove everyone, I do have knees. Um, I'm going to put up some photos on the website of some of the stuff that I'm uh, going to be doing right here, but I want to go through a few of the, uh, the flexibility gains I've got and talk a bit about why they're important, which I know I mentioned on the intro to this video, but whatever. So the first thing I, I really wanted to talk about is the fact that um, you use your body a lot more than you think. So a lot of the, the, the poses and stuff that uh, we do, the poses that I put the photos up on Facebook, you might be thinking, well, how is that useful? And I really understand that because I used to think exactly the same thing. So I'm going to show you one of the, the most obvious ones to me, first of all. Um, and that is uh, the fold forward or the toe touch, if that's what you prefer to call it. Um, and I'm going to show you where I was when I started, more or less. And I've got some photos with this I know, but I think it does pay to do it in person. So are we ready, lovely assistant? We are. Good. So I, I kind of started off about here, maybe even up here somewhere. And um, the thing about that is, uh, shoelaces are the, the, really the main thing I'm going to mention on this one. Um, you can't tie a shoelace from here, guys. And um, that, that was a problem for me when I started doing DDP yoga. Uh, now, of course, if I want to tie a shoelace, I can just come down and tie it. And that's really straightforward. Um, but that isn't the end of where I kind of can go with this position now. Um, now, I can go all the way to this position. And what I want you to do from this position is really take a look at my spine. Really take a look at my back, if my camera person has it in there. And I just want you to see the curve on the spine there. And that is what you absolutely get out of getting into this position. It's an absolutely practical position. If my camera wants to hand back up, thank you dear. Camera woman, sorry, second time I've done that on this video. Um, but that's what a healthy spine looks like. So I wanted to use that one because that shows a really, uh, a really practical position. I mean, how how often do you need to tie your shoes? Daily, basically, right? Um, my, my camera woman is shaking her head. She wears sandals, guys. Um, I don't know why she can reach her, uh, her shoes now if she wanted to. She could tie them, but um, 
uh, whatever. I wear shoes every day. I have shoelaces. I don't wear sandals like a little girl. Um, so, I can now tie my shoelaces. That sounds really obvious, guys, but seriously, when you start this off, if you are a bigger person, who, which, as I said, this video is going to be largely aimed at, it's something you can't do, and it's something you really don't have much appreciation for. So, I'm going to move on here. I am using bullet points again, guys. I apologize. I, I don't have enough time to learn this thing by rote. You can probably tell, right? Um, so, something else I, I wanted to mention here, which is something I never realized, which is, um, I work for a... Um, uh, gambling website. So the guys that I work with tend to be a very athletic um, sort of guy. Um, they, they all play sports, basically. Um, and I used to think, you know, you kind of look at the, the sportsmen that you see on TV and stuff, you think instantly flexible, right? You think all the stuff that you're learning, all the stuff that you start doing when you're doing TDP yoga, these guys have just got down. Well, first of all, I can tell you that's, that's so not true. Um, we had a... Uh, a little competition at work um, to see who could touch their toes, um, which was fantastic because it was just as I'd been able to start doing it. Um, none of them can. It's really quite odd to watch. But um, one of the things I, I'm going to show you now, and I'm going to get into position for this, is where touching your toes can actually lead you. First of all, there is this lovely squat here, which you notice I just went into casually. It's something else about how your inflexibility, you know, inflexibility, how your flexibility increases when you do DDP yoga you start moving into positions a lot more casually that you wouldn't even. I, this wasn't deliberate, I didn't even think about doing this, it's just kind of where I ended up. So, the position I'm going to show you, just because it's a bit of a celebration for me here, is Cannonball. Now this is a back stretch, um, as much as anything. It is absolutely phenomenal for your back. You saw the curve on my back there where I did the fold forward. Um, doing this is one of the reasons that happened. I'm going to get into position here. Now, the trick here for my lovely assistant is not to just make this a gratuitous crotch shot. I think she's up to it. She may get a little bit distracted. If you see the camera go out of focus, she knows exactly why that's happening. That's so rude, dear. So, it's a really easy position. You go onto your back, and you pull in your legs. And I think I started off that posi this position kind of here. And that was putting a huge strain on my back. Uh, and then, it gradually came to here, and to here. And it's, honestly guys, I don't care if you do DDP yoga or not. You have a bad back and you want to stretch it out, get into this position. Hey, GSP, if he's in shot. Um, George St. Pierre, named after MMA, MMA fighter. So, where can you go with this position? Well, I got into the extreme position of this just this week, and the extreme position is this. And I've got to tell you guys, this looked absolutely impossible when I first saw it. It's something you see uh, Arthur Borman, in fact, do on one of the first workouts. It looked absolutely impossible, and you can see now I'm sat here talking while I'm doing it. Oh, that feels better. Phenomenal backstretch. Let me just look at my bullet points here. So, yeah, um, and the reason I, I, wanted, I like that position is because when I first started, that position looked impossible. But the thing with that position, and the fact that it looks so difficult when you start off, especially, again, if you're almost 400 pounds like I was, um, it's something which you don't do at the start. You see, you know, you can hold on. Some people start off holding their, the undersides of their thighs when they uh, go into cannibals. Some people start on their knees. Um, but there is one position, and this bit I put in kind of for the guys who are already doing uh, DDP yoga, or have just started doing DDP yoga. Because this is the first position I had where I genuinely thought, uh, you know, DDP was having a bit of a laugh. Um, and I think kind of everyone who sees it for the first time um, is sort of the same way. And this is called seated back. So first of all, you get your feet into, if I can get the wall, sorry Dave, you get your feet into the seated back position. Now, first of all, um, look at the position of my legs right here. Um, Getting into this position in and of itself when you're 375 pounds is pretty difficult. I think to get my legs down as far as they are here, um, I actually had dropped to about 330 pounds by the time I could do that, which was about halfway through the uh, third month. Um, but then, uh, as you are told to do, and I, uh, this is a rare time, I will actually show you a move from one of the uh, workouts. Um, yeah, I, it's something I'm not 100% comfortable with, but I really need to illustrate the point here. You are asked to pick up your feet. Um, 
And that looks absolutely impossible. I don't necessarily know if it looks like I make any effort when I do this these days. Um, it's just a matter of balance. Um, now, to any of you DDP yoga experts out there, yes, I'm leaning back a little bit. It's nothing to do with counterbalancing. It's to do with my belly. As you can see, it's still very much in the way. It's going down all the time. 260 at the last weigh-in, which was this week. Uh, that was absolutely awesome, and it's disappearing slowly but surely. Soon I'll be leaning all the way forward. But um, as you can see, this, this position's not all that difficult for me to hold now. But you always have somewhere to go. And this is where it looks like he's really having a laugh when you first watch Shirt through Red Hot Court. Which is when you get asked to start lifting your legs out. Like this. And you can see I don't quite have this all the way yet. Something I almost have. And uh, this is again a leg stretch. It stretches out your hamstrings. It just gives you more flexibility in your legs. It makes it so that when you start off sitting like this, it's an absolutely easy position to sit in. This is absolutely fine. Hey, Moose. So many cats cameoing in the video today. Awesome. So, there is the next position on this, and I'm going to show you guys this one because this is the one I'm working on. And I think it's important not to try and make it look like I'm some kind of expert when I do these videos, that I'm not some kind of perfectionist. Um, and that is the, uh, I believe it's called jackknife. I can't actually remember 100% at the top of my head. But that's where you have your feet off. But instead of doing one leg at a time, you do both legs. You can see, I have to work on balancing here. And then, let go. And this, as it did with everything in Red Hook Core, is a phenomenal ab workout. I'm actually quite impressed with how well I'm holding this right now. Um, this builds up the stomach muscles. This makes me hope... Oh, I'm, being, I'm getting requests here from the camera, guys. Is this what you wanted? Yeah, and I already did Red Hook Core today. I just like to point that out. Ugh, I didn't fall backwards either. Um, and I've completely forgotten what it was I was saying. So distracted by the, uh, the person just looking for a bit of meat on display at the back of the camera there. Um, yeah, that's, that's a great um, ab stretch. It's a great leg stretch. Uh, and I, you guys can just see how flexible um, I am from that. And it's, um, it's something awesome. It means that when this finally dis does disappear, I am fully expecting a six pack here. That was not something I was expecting when I started doing DDP yoga. Um, and the last point I, I wanted to make, just on the, the flexibility side of things, um, is what about what my target is right now. Um, my target right now is um, on December the 25th to be doing a handstand. Um, why did I pick that target? Because I've done the weight loss target. Um, I did uh, a target of losing 100 pounds in 12 months. I actually lost 103 in 6. Um, so what that proved to me as, as much as anything else is I have absolutely no idea what a weight loss target should be. Um, I also don't want to set a weight loss target because losing the weight isn't really the bit that I'm so into with DDP yoga, the bit that gets me uh, excited. The stuff that gets me excited about DDP yoga is the flexibility stuff that you've seen me doing so far. Hello Elle, I'm actually starting to get nervous with the amount of cats I'm getting surrounded by. I've seen the birds, this is really quite worrying. Okay. <laughs> it's alright, they're taking each other out. Um, but I want to be doing a handstand by... Uh, Christmas Day. Now you guys watch questions in the plank, so you can see I'm working on the core strength uh, right now. Um, but I, one of the other things I'm going to need is flexibility and balance. So, hmm, yeah, I, I actually think I'm going to give this a go on camera. Um, my cameraman looks worried. I'm not trying a handstand. Don't worry. Not yet. Soon. So if my camera person would like to pan up for me. I didn't just totally bone my focus. And uh, what I'm going to do here is show a bit of balance, a bit of leg flexibility. So, grab hold of my leg here. And uh, guys, I, I, I'm going to have some photos up of when I started doing this as well. Um, the latest photo I've got up is actually day 180 when I had some tendon troubles. When I started doing this, my leg was down here. And that was an absolute challenge. Now, I can do this. And I can hold it relatively comfortably. Still wobbling a little bit, but that's good. Believe it or not, guys, it's actually awesome that you wobble. Seriously, it means you're turning muscles on. I had to say it. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, the reason I, I want to show that is because um, it makes the point that the target I'm reaching for now, I feel, is absolutely attainable. 
If you asked me before I started DDP yoga, you think you could be doing a handstand in 12 months? Yeah, no. Not in the slightest. But now that I've started doing, I've started doing some of the more advanced workouts as well, and I see stuff that I can't do, but I don't see anything that I don't think I'll ever be able to do. And that's a great reason um, to keep going with this for me. It's a reason I really recommend you start it if you're remotely interested in getting yourself flexible, getting yourself fit, getting yourself healthy. Anyway guys, um, that's pretty much all I had to say for this one. Um, episode 3 of Questions in the Plank will be coming out uh, at the start of next week. The question is food based again. Uh, I've been asked, uh, and I can't remember who, I apologise. I will definitely make sure I credit you in the video. Um, what I would do as far as food's concerned on a, a regular day. So look forward to that one. Right now, guys, peace. I'm out.